so as this new day has begun here in Uldah, it is time for us to get on with the main events of tonight's stream. And for that, we are asking Mathiah to take over the reins for this one because this is going to be quite the journey and he is the one who I believe is best suited for the task. So, over here, as you've been noticing all night, this throng of humanity is the one to get word with this guy. He's in here somewhere, this neophyte adventurer. So yeah, we need to find out why so many people want to talk to this guy. So let's go ahead and do just that. Let's go ahead and speak with our neophyte adventurer as we begin the journey for the Final Fantasy 16 crossover, beginning with the level 50 quest entitled A Land on Fire. The neophyte adventurer seeks the Warrior of Light. Uh, forgive me my boldness, but you are Matthias Griffin, are you not? Indeed. Am I Matthias Griffin? Yes, I am. Mean, I'm the one who's hosting the stream. Uh, then my search is at an end. A begogled gentleman tasked me to find you, you see, in the hopes of entreating your aid with some matter he deigned not share with me. Really? Pray remain here, and I shall fetch him at once. Yeah. He goggled. That does sound like someone we know, but is it actually that person? Greetings, champion. Yep, as it turns out, it is indeed the Wandering Minstrel. He visits us during the Rising, but this time, he's joining us here. Tis I who implore the young adventurer to facilitate this impromptu audience. As for the I have a request that you and you alone can fulfill. Pray listen well, for my tale begins with the most unsettling dream. Oh, tell us all about it. In it did I behold the evening sky, bound on shitless and shimmering. As I drank deep of its beauty, I spot two stars sailing across the inky expanse. One of purest white, the other blushing scarlet. Their courses set such that they may pass without collision. Sharply and suddenly, the scarlet star shifted its trajectory. High above a burning landscape did its path intersect with that of the white star. The conjunction marked by a brilliant explosion of light. Even in slumber I was all struck by the spectacle. Yeah, but what, is, what does it mean? But yeah, how, how are you uh, roping me into this there, wandering minstrel? Yeah, I seem confused by this. I do not wish to make any claims of certainty. And yet... And yet, whatever greater meaning this vision might hold, I am convinced that the blazing white star represents the warrior of light. In other words, you. And sure these portents indeed foretell future events, you are thus fated to encounter the scarlet star whomsoever they may be. I therefore humbly request that you accompany me to the burning land from my dream, that I might witness the visions to Newland, and will compensate you for the trouble of course. Alright then. The question is, which territory in Eosia might be considered burning, metaphorically or otherwise? Yeah, let's mull this over. Is it the Ball of Embers where I battled a fleet? Or more specifically, Edie did? Is it the burning wall in Eastern Thailand? Because that certainly sounds burning. Or a place rich in corrupted crystal deposits so that can look quite fiery, but yeah, burning is in the wall, is in the title of this, so. It is ultimately the correct answer because it is about thou must selection. Oh, that cluster of immense crystals born of the Seven of Thornbrook Calamity. Ah, it well resembles the sweeping scene from my dream. The first mystery is solved. We shall leave for Eastern Thurland and leave us burning wall at once. And I shall see you there. Quest accepted with the fancy logo from Final Fantasy 69. And yeah, if you want to come along, Luna, by all means. So, it's time for a return to Camp Drybone. So yeah, for those not familiar with the burning wall, this is what it looks like. It did play a prominent role in patch 2.5 version 1. Because of course, 
2.5 patches are always split into two parts, so part one of patch 2.5 involved part of the storyline taking place here. And so we come here to see what's going on. So we need to go higher. So somewhere in here, we'll find our destination. And here's the wandering minstrel. The burning wool. An up name indeed. You can see that these crystalline structures are formed when falling shards of Dolomir pierce the land's ethereal current. Some see them as a symbol of rebirth, a manifestation of renewed life. But that is neither here nor there. Let's have a look around, shall we? Spar glasses at the ready. Now, here's the part of this quest that kind of drove me nuts when I was looking at it this morning. Because, I'll show you why. Survey your surroundings for anything out of the ordinary. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out. Target an area, inspect it with R2 and or X. But here's the thing. When I did my testing for this particular quest, this was when the in-game clock was at night. And so, I was stuck doing this for at least 10 minutes. And so, it was so bad, I needed people to help me out. To figure out where the heck I needed to look. Ultimately, you have to look down to the very bottom of the map. And yeah, you'll see, in the dark, this would have been perfectly camouflaged hiding behind this crystal. This black cape right here and the strange man who's wearing it. Yeah, under cover of darkness, that is easy camouflage. So, yeah, let's tell the wandering minstrel what we found. So now that we know what's down there, Let's go and try and see what's going on. There's a man in the black cape is out like a light. Ugh. And he's coming around. You know, this man's got a pair of tattoos on his face. Where am I? What? What's going on? Yeah, hello there, sir. Are you alright? So once we get him on his feet, he's still nursing his shoulder. The dream led you to me. I understand how absurd that may sound. We ourselves were unsure of what awaited us here. As to who we are, I am contentedly known as the Minstrel. This stalwart hero is Mathia Griffin. Might we have the pleasure of your name? Clive. The last thing I remember was the ruins. Well, it's nice to meet you, Clyde, but what ruins are we talking about here? Yeah, problem is, he's also got a headache. My head... Where? How did I come to be in this place? It will seem you're a no senseless. Confusion is to be expected. For safety's sake, I'll suggest you make for a town and have a frontistry physician look you over. I shall see our patient receive proper treatment. Would you mind waiting for us at Scholar's Walk? Yeah, as in we're going back to Uldar. So ultimately we are automatically warped to the steps of Thal and in front of the Frondale's frontistry here in Old Da. And of course, the frontistry is very familiar to those who have done special events in the past that have taken place here. 
So, we'll wait at the designated location here in Ulda. Joined by Luna herself. So as we bide our time. Hey there, Minstrel. Our family has been in care for us to speak, but I am told he should be released soon. Hopefully, it was not that a bite of food and a little bit of bed rest couldn't cure. Hope so. Yeah, let's talk about random things. I don't know exactly what we're talking about, but I imagine it pertains to our new friend. Hello there, Clive. It was kind of you to wait. Thank you. What for your condition? Much improved. The physical also noted no signs of injury or illness. Yet my memories remain hazy. How did I end up there? Whatever I was doing, it was important. I am sure of it. I must return as soon as possible. I'll see. We cannot leave him in this state. We must help him restore his memories and find his way home. What of this city, Clive? Do any parts of Rule Dolph strike you as familiar? Well, there is a desert city where he comes from, but it ain't this. No. Maybe I've simply forgotten, but I recognize nothing. Hmm, not till dawn then. Still, I should like to think that the sorts and sons of a well-known locale will hasten your recovery. The Burning Wall, the place where we found you, is situated midway betwixt Uldor and Gridonia. Perhaps a trip to the Trellis is in order. Gridonia, you say? The name rings no bells, but I have no better suggestions. And you would take me there? I would, yes. Even with a hazy throat. <coughs> oh. Meanwhile, I shall make the rounds of the neighboring settlements and ask if any have heard of you. Let us have on the view in Gretonia anon. Yeah, we have to speak with before moving on, so let's do that. This entire situation has knocked me off balance, I'm afraid. Mathia, was it? I appreciate you coming to my rescue. Still, you must have your own business to attend to. We can set out whenever you're ready. Well, before we do that, let's take 11,700 experience points and 714 gil. And then we will move on and speak with Clive again to take on our next level 50 quest entitled Pain to Recall. Clive is ready to travel to Gridania. Are we ready? Then so let's head out. This Gridania the minstrel mentioned. Is it far? Will we need mounts? Well, not necessarily. By airship? You have those? Uh, not that I mean to doubt you, friend. If you say we're boarding an airship, then that's what we'll do. Yeah, that is indeed what we'll be doing, so I guess that's where we're going. Makes sense, that's the fastest way to get there. Alright, there's Clive. Let's go ahead and speak with him. Mathiah, if I may ask a foolish question, do these airships of yours actually fly? Oh yeah, they do. <laughs> a foolish question indeed then. Your expression tells me as much. Yeah, first time traveling by airship or is there no other sure travel where you're from? Yeah, are these things not familiar to you? I believe it will be. It's odd. I know that the weapon on my back is called a sword, I understand what it's for and how to wield it. Foggy as my memories may be, my general knowledge seems intact. Yeah, hearing you speak of functional airships, I felt confusion. 
disbelief for something that you clearly think of as commonplace. And so, I can make no sense of it. Where was I before now? But dwelling on this is pointless. Forward is the only way. Indeed it is. So, let's hitch a ride to Gridania. Alright, we have made it to Gridania, and so let's go ahead and speak with Clive. To feel that brace of wind, the deck shuddering beneath your feet as you rise into the sky. My memory may be faulty, but that was an experience I'm sure I'll not soon forget. So, this is Gridania. It seems very unlike the city we just left. Where to begin? I, I think it best if I follow your lead. Okay then, Clive is now accompanying you. So, let's try and begin the process to see how much we can help him out. We begin at this circle over here to activate the next quest part. This tavern, it reminds me of somewhere I've been before. And have you ever been to the Carline Canopy? No, it's no use. I can feel the memory, but it's like grasping at smoke. But maybe if you were to show me somewhere else. Alright. So the next objective they ask us to do is to take him to the Chocobo Keep. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, Gridania getting a lot of traffic tonight. Let's bring over here. A Chocobo! Now that's something I recognize. Yeah, it's right over there. Yet it's more than that. I had my own chocobo once, I'm sure of it. But as for the when or the where... Yeah, we're still figuring that out. Now in front of the main aetherite. Oh, need to pull you in a little more. There we go. Sounds like a bard is playing as well. An impressive crystal. Not a mother crystal, surely. Yeah, this ain't one of those. No, not nearly large enough. When I try to remember the fog in my head, all this seems to go thicker. Oh, maybe we can find out why. So let's go around everything. No one needs to worry there, Wood Whalers, he's with me. We'll need to change, though. Now we are approaching the Adder's Nest, so probably wouldn't make sense to dress appropriately. Alright, Clive, you in there somewhere? Oh, he is, but the activation quest doesn't... Oh, yeah, we have to wait for the activation quest, the activation bubble to appear. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, come on, game. So as the sun sets here in Gridania. This is truly a beautiful place. Yeah, have you taken a liking to Gridania then? Or have you remembered anything else? Brief flashes of this and that, but nothing to suggest I've been here before. I just can't shake the strangest feeling. And what's that? Now, are you able to elaborate? As if it's too peaceful. And that doesn't sit right. Too peaceful? Patrols reporting, Commander! All is quiet with the Ixol. No sightings of Garuda! For which we are profoundly grateful. At ease, soldier. Yeah, that was pretty loud. Did he say Garuda? Yeah, you know who that is, don't you? Yeah, he just goes bursting right into the adder's nest. Hello there, Commander. You there. This Garuda you speak of. Ugh. 
Yeah, it's still dealing with headaches. Commander Hula. Uh, sir, are you alright? Captain Griffin, do you know this gentleman? Indeed I do, sir. Memory loss, you say? I'm sorry to hear that. Though it seems Kabuda's name has lit a spark of some sort. I was in a battle with Kabuda. I fought her. I'm sure of it. You did? Please, you must tell me more. Anything that might help me remember my past. Of course, Gradonia, Gradonia is a debt of gratitude to any who stood against that destructive fiend. However, there is one more suit of the task than I. Our elder Tsitsi is well versed not only in primal lore, but also in the treatment of bodily afflictions. She is surely your best bet hope for recovery. I will send word ahead to Stilgalade Fane. Stand ready to escort our guests to an audience. Understood, Commander. F pray find me in Nofakus Altar in Old Gradania, and I will see that you are granted entry to the Lotus Stand. And we will see you there. Wow, that, that is a lot of... <laughs> That was a lot of demon wings here tonight. I think one decided to set the trend for others. Alright, so let's go ahead and speak with the Serpent Scout. The Lotus Stand lies just ahead. If you'd follow me, please. Hey there, Baba. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you with us. So the next day, Clive and I are... Shutting out. Greetings, honored guests. Greetings, elder seeds here. Good to see you again. And of course, that's Final Fantasy 16 music we're listening to. Commander Hulwa has apprised me of your friend's condition. This is he? Yes, it is. A pleasure to meet you. I am Kane Senna, Elder Seedseer of Gridania. I thank you for your gracious welcome. I am Clive, though beyond that I fear my introduction may be lacking. Please concern yourself not with proprieties. Tis your memory loss we are here to address. I am told Garuda's name awakens some previous recollection. Yes, in the instant I heard it, a hazy vision of battle arose, unbidden. I think perhaps if I could hear more of Garuda. A wish easily granted. Yeah, tell them what you know about Garuda. Garuda is the deity revered by the Ixal, a people who once dwelled here in the Twelveswood. She appears as a winged entity, half bird, half woman, who commands the wind itself. Most frightening, however, is her capricious temper, as unpredictable as a howling storm. I should add that Mathia has fought against Garuda in her primal incarnation. Yes, I have, along with other warriors of light who have done the same. A winged woman of volatile temperament with power over the wind. A fitting description of the opponent I remember. But a deity? No. The will behind that monstrous visage was distinctly mortal. What? Like Shiva? I suspect Clive's Garuda and Eorzea's primal are not one and the same. Yeah, suddenly the one who missed appears out of nowhere. Yeah, who let you in? Mainly as Clive himself is north of our world. Explain yourself, minstrel. 
Yeah, and make it quick. I went back to where we had discovered Clive and Christian folk in all the nearby settlements. North one person recognized his description. Such a distinctive tattoo, escaping the notice of every local rumor monger for months around. Improbable to say the least. Yeah, that is kind of a hard face tattoo to miss. That led me to consider another possibility. One consistent with past accounts. I have heard of visitors from other worlds somehow stumbling through reality's curtain and finding their way to our star. That's weird, like we've seen in 13 and with thir 13 and 15 crossovers and 11 as well. My friend, it's the mark of a bearer. Uh. Yeah, as you're still dealing with headaches. Does it pain you to remember? I feel the memory is trying to surface, but when I strain to a call, a piercing ringing fills my ears. Garuda, Bera, Ifrit. And we know that name too. Another primal's name. Towards seeing the pain has a less than tangible source. Long have I studied the healing arts, yet I sense no shadow of illness in your body. Your suffering stems not from injury nor sickness. Victims of terrible events have been known to suppress their own memories out of instinct. One subconscious denies attempts to confront the awful truth, the mind creating a shield of pain to protect the heart. The barriers of my own making. How then am I to overcome it? With our aid, of course. Yeah, we can help you with that. Fate has brought us together, and together we shall triumph over this adversity. If you're so willing. And so, later that night, let's go ahead and find a way around, um, yeah, I guess we don't have to go far, because the crowd's parting a little. Let's go ahead and speak with Clyde to complete this quest. So, you think me from another world? And my memories of said world are not like to return unless I acknowledge some terrible truth. A truth my mind refuses to remember. It is a confounding dilemma, I agree, and I have given thought to a solution. I believe that the shackles which bind your mind may yet be struck off in the heat of battle. A drastic measure, perhaps, especially when you're not at your best. Which is why I turn to you, Mathiah. You are the twin to Clive's wandering star. Your involvement is no accident. The path I see is thick with thorns, but have you the will to walk it? Then gather yourself for war and await me at Rapkalu Falls. Yeah, that's kind of a weird place to go to battle, but we shall take our 11,700 experience points and 995 gil.